It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions on Sunday night primetime. Call it Motown, call it the Motor City. To Lions fans, this is home. Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Good to be in the booth with my partner Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy really of time. Because wide receivers like to slide by as much as any position group in the league. But we've got two guys who's joined under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations. The game's on the line. Detroit. Far cry from the trade from the Rams to the Lions, second in the league at passing a season ago. Truth be told, we might be talking about one of the most disrespected quarterbacks in the entire NFL. I mean, he's constantly talked about as if he's some fringe NFL starter, despite the fact, Mike, that he's been the focal point for a team that has completely turned things around since his arrival. Now, I don't know if we would classify him as this, like, elite super talent, but there's no denying, this guy is a winner, and if he's under center, you got a great chance. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. They'll work now on second and four. They'll go play action with Dom. Now pass deep for St. Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. We'll find Montgomery out of the backfield. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Hooking up with his tight end, Laporta, and they give the Lions a first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. Think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target, but I don't think it's going to be his last. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Goff. And that one's incomplete. A late fly comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. On 
first down, it's gone. some of these passes all proven though mike they've got to identify what went wrong let's correct it so we're able to move forward the rams led out by a super bowl champion matthew stafford second among all active passers in the nfl only aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards hard to believe greg it's already season 16 for the man out of the university of georgia I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Second and seven. The motion man is Nakua. Play action, Stafford. and forcing third down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air, and they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. reaction is how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive and the reality is because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about and we're going to see what it looks like the lions offense ready now for their second drive they'll start with a short field looking for the first points of this contest and they'll begin first and ten They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first and ten, here's Goff. Get this complete. It's Williams over the middle. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Here's the first carry for the Iowa State Cyclone. David Montgomery. And he's going to fight forward. Didn't get a whole lot. But it's going to be enough to move the chains. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. tight game like that you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage and if you can continue to get after the quarterback disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half that could be the difference of you being able to pull away
Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, it's got. Throw over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. It's gone. He'll let this one go long for William. So they take the shot downfield, and it is caught in the end zone for a touchdown. What a big play that is, Greg. Absolutely, Mike. And the key to a play like this is when the ball travels this far in the air, they teach you, don't look back look up because that's where the ball will be and in this case he was able to secure it and come away with a big touchdown an extra point attempt to follow he's got it and the Lions will take a 7 nothing lead is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Johnson now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Rams offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. to work with it is first down and ten the NFL's third leading rusher a season ago it's Kyron Williams here's second and nine Training staff looks at him. We'll step away for a moment. The Rams punting unit coming up as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. And we will not have a return on this one. Ball's going to hit and continue out of bounds. Here's the Detroit offense now headed back onto the field. They've got the lead and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Goff with the give to Montgomery. And they bring down the monitor. They get inside the 30 yard line. Pick up of 11 yards on that one. First down, Detroit. The best offensive play callers in the NFL, Mike, do a great job tying in their under center run game, like we just saw here with their under center play action game and the ability to make those two things look alike, man, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. 
great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Throwing on second down. Duck. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back. And I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with the lead despite the performance out of their career. He's going to have the Lions first down, maybe by about a yard, as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Goff to throw. To the right side, that's St. Brown. He's not going to get too far, tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here is Goff. It is brought in to the end zone. Safe back. Down to court. Greg, it's one of those sometimes you got to feel like you know where the ball's going to go. And the defense knows it too. But it still ends up in that guy's hands for the touchdown. Absolutely, Mike. In these critical situations, like down here in the red zone, it's players, not plays. It doesn't matter what you draw up on the board. You say, okay, who's my best player? Put him in a good matchup, let him go win, and give him a chance. That's exactly what they do here, and I think we're going to see a lot of this the rest of the game. The extra point is good. And the Lions will extend their first quarter lead. It's now 14 to nothing. where they can see the ball 
but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in balance. Feel like there's going chance to bring that one down. Put that ball on his chest and help him secure that catch. At this level, when you're that open, that ball has to be complete. Here's a handoff to Williams. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. 14 to nothing is our score. And we are back to the Motor City in a moment. sits at 14 nothing here in this second quarter looking to run away with this one before halftime
He'll stay on the ground. Again, Montgomery. And bring down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. 15-yard pickup there. Good for a Lions first down. Now, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old school. Line up and run smash mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. One more time for Montgomery. And this time, they are ready for it. It'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. He'll take a shot here for the end zone. the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat and he's going to work a little bit on his touch a little bit on his accuracy but constantly reminded of the importance of defensive back depth when you're building an NFL roster. I mean, think back. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first modern offenses. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Throwing Stafford. The open man is McCoy. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle. And he's able to secure a nice catch. A play fit. Now Stafford to throw. concepts are frequently used Mike throughout the entire game all across the league and what it does is it creates a lot of natural rugs you run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch and that's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game well a chance to get right back in it here first down and goal again it's Here. 
picked up and through. And the Lions add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this one will be taken in the end zone no run back forthcoming and the ball coming out to the 30 yard line the Rams offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession they'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break it has not been their half to this point let's see what they do on this one first down now Motion man is Nakua. Now first down throw for Stafford. And a try complete to Nakua. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. Go for it through the air on fourth down. 
but this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, no easy completions, and this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. Set to go now on first and ten. So they start this on the ground with Montgomery. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the punt. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. A second down throw for Goff. That'll be caught. It's Jameer Gibbs. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. They're going to try to run here with Gibbs. yards and give them four yards it was third and two as they convert they move Laporta sending him in motion he'll go play action with Goff he connects with St. Brown After the catch, that one picks up 29 yards. St. Brown in motion. Contact. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. the play fake. Here's Goff. It's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown, the receiver he was trying to target, and it'll bring up second down. Goes without saying, like, you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. I understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. The worst case scenario is you turn the ball over you can break that. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal. On a pass play that leads them down to the one. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board? Because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone. And they got to find a way to put that ball across the board. First and goal, and here's Montgomery. Great throw. He's in. David Montgomery. Touchdown, Lions. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, Every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points.
teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Johnson now to return. And will be taken down as the next drive will begin there. The Rams offense ready to get back out. They'll start out first down and ten. seconds remaining in the first half. From 
from the gun. Here's Stafford. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. First and ten. Now flag caught. Looks like someone got going early, and it's going to turn into first and fifteen. They will start it on the ground to run that clock. Uh-uh, this one's going nowhere. Going backwards. He'll be down at the four-yard line. So we've reached halftime here at Ford Field, and the Lions have the lead. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, as to the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome, in everyone, to our Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran quarterback, Jared Goff, who had command of the offense. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Rams offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. Play action now for Stafford. Who else? Another pass for his favorite target. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Don't get that often during the season. First play of the drive picks up 29 yards. Putting the tight end in motion. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one. Like he really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Here's Stafford now on second down. That's called in on the left by McCool. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. That's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. Man is Nakua. 
out of the gun. Stafford has is completed to Kirk. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. On second down, a run with Williams. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Craig Reynolds to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, to try to keep it going. to their offense to find success on the ground. Because right now, they have no answers for this defense. Throwing on second down. Go. In the middle. He's got St. Brown. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. 
so far here today. Putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it. Like sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On the handoff, it's Montgomery. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Here's a handoff to Montgomery. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Christian Rose Boom. They're on the tack. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the gun, it's gone. He still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Oh, he shanked it. Headed straight for the sideline. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense get set to go again. And he has had all sorts of trouble in this one. Your quarterback has to take care of the ball, and he has not. Turning it over in the air, turning it over as a fumbler. You just cannot win football games in this league when the quarterback's given the defense the ball. And that's what he's done in this one. From the 35, it's first and 10. The shotgun snap to Stafford. Throw well, right side, hold in by Cup. 18 yards, what a great way to start the drive. It's a first down. It'll be a run out of the gun with Williams. And this will be a short pick up down to the 45. Big lineman Aline McNeil ends the play there. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll go again with Williams. The offensive line cannot just be dependent on the perfect play call. Somebody has to win. Somebody has to distort the defense and create some space for the running back to run. In this case, nobody could win. Stop for no game. On third down, Stafford. true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Out of the 
shotgun. It's gone. That's caught by Gibbs. They'll get 11 there. And that's a quick first down. Getting to the point where it's almost becoming borderline disrespectful. Right? Despite having this big lead here in the second half, they continue to take shots downfield. They are not content with just running this clock out and shaking hands and going off for the win. Truth be told, I think they're trying to embarrass him and they're doing a pretty good job at it. On play action. Oh, blitz overwhelming the offensive line and down he goes. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over. carry here from Montgomery. Running with authority. Pushes his way forward for a pickup of six. Third and long. Goff to throw. The pressure gets there and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. will punt this ball away. And he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. Oh, a miss hit there off the side of his foot. That's going to be out of bounds. Where are they going to mark it? About right at the 50-yard line. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Stafford. There's that man again. Another catch. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Stafford on target to Puka. And the Rams have a first down. Motioning the tight end now. Now first down throw for Stafford. He'll locate Cup. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. One big play followed by another. This one good for 28. For any long developing play like that to work, everyone on the offensive side of the ball has to do their job at a high level. First, the pass protection has to hold up. Then, the receiver has to be able to separate from his man defender. And then, of course, the quarterback has to be on time and on target with the ball. And when you do, you move the chains. And he's going to be stopped here for no game. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of action.
To throw on second down, Stafford. He'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Third and two, Stafford. One part of the floor. And he can't get away. They rally with the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll snap it. Here's Stafford. offense back onto the field for their next possession. This one appears to be safe in hand. It has been a clinical performance to this point. Now they'll try to finish up strong. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. And he'll work his way for about four yards. That's good enough for a first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. Goff with the give to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down at the 32 after a short pickup. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On third down, they go with Montgomery. Here's the Lions punt team now. As he is on to kick it away. A fair catch signal. 
And they'll have it just outside their own 20. The visitors' offense headed back to take over once more. Let's go back and scroll through some of their drives. One theme, Greg, going to keep emerging throughout. Too many turnovers. Yeah, I think it's been a combination of just carelessness, right? Some sloppy play offensively that has caused some of them. But also, let's give some credit to the defense. I think in a lot of the cases, they're also forcing these takeaways, punching the ball out, going up for interceptions. They've been in the right place at the right time. So combination of really good defense at times and at times really bad offense. Stafford now on first down. Just one run, taken in by Parkinson. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. It's a gain of 10. That's enough for a quick first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Looks like Luka will be right on the right side, and the flag is down. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. He's already been a little reckless with his decision-making up until this point, Mike, and now it almost backfires on him again. He has to do a better job of finding the matchups, finding the space on the field so everything is not a forced ball into these tight windows. A play fake. Now... that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, you've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often. And when they do, you got to seize the moment. Third and long. Here's Stafford. That on into the hands of Atwell. And how about that? Third and a mile, and they convert and pick up a first down. So the longer that play progressed, the more difficult it is to cover that crossing route. So what's the key? It starts with pass protection. Give the quarterback time to stay with his receiver and not be forced to check that ball down. Who else? Another catch for his feet with target. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. What work after the catch. That one picks up 29 yards. Off play action. It's Stafford. He'll let this go. Good the end zone. in this passing game. The Lions offense ready for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Second down, Montgomery. Finding room at the 35. 
will knock him down just shy of the 40. A pickup there of 19 yards. First down, Detroit. One of the key factors for having success in the run game, Mike, is winning at the point of attack. And what that means is every play, the linemen and all the blockers, they understand where the back is going to start and then where the back could end up. And having a good understanding of that and how it pertains to the defense is how you gain your advantage to have big plays like this. A run up the gut with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Give him 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. The best running backs, Mike, they have a really good balance between executing the play that's designed, but then every so often they just have to trust their instincts. And sometimes that's the best plays. That's where the big home run shots come from. And when you have a talented back, you want to give them that freedom. That's a gain of 16. His offense is coming. A first down. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. They'll run with Montgomery. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. They'll stay on the ground. Again, Montgomery. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, they'll come up to third and three. The train running here with Montgomery. will opt to bring out the field goal unit. This a 42-yard attempt. This one is good. He knocks it through. The Lions will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. I think at this point in the game, Mike, you have things under control. Not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, but they still were able to manage to add both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away Johnson now to return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line to work with it is first down and ten out of the gun Stafford that one on target to cut and he'll get about eight on that one most of it coming after the catch it's second down A 
second down throw for Stafford. Get this complete. It's caught again. He'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. That veteran combo, Stafford and Cup, do it again. Looking up for a first down. Tremendous defensive performance. All the other guys deserve the 